Hey there. Welcome again. In this video, you will see exhaust gas recirculation system with two sections. One is brief explanation on HMI and observe main parts of EGR system in engine room. What is exhaust gas recirculation system? Let's see. It is one of methods for reducing NOx in the exhaust gas that is emitted from ships. And the purpose is to reduce oxygen concentration for incoming charge air. By reducing oxygen concentration, combustion temperature is going to drop in chamber and NOx generation process is suppressed. Let's see outline drawing on HMI. As first, exhaust gases from main engine enters into EGR scrubber. Wash down exhaust gases by using fresh water with certain pH value inside EGR scrubber. These fresh water comes from outlet of cooler and some water comes from drain water chamber with pressure. These mixer enters into demister. Gas and liquid is separated inside demister. After then, EGR gas is blown to engine by EGR blower. To operate EGR system, engine must be run with certain load. Let's go back to demister. Scrubbing water from demister is sent to scrubbing water receiver. SCWR. SCWR has level sensors. Low low level is set at 120 mm and high high level is at 1100 mm. Current level is 568 mm inside tank. Scrubbing water pump transfers water from SCWR to collecting tank unit, according to liquid level of receiver. CTU also fitted with level sensors. Low low level is at 370 mm and maximum high high level is at 1250 mm. Current water level is 819 mm. Recirculating line present to recirculate scrubbing water from SCWR. Let's see collecting tank unit. CTU. Depend upon level inside CTU, makeup water is automatically filled from ship's domestic water line. pH meter is fitted to detect pH value of scrubbing water inside CTU. Current pH of scrubbing water is 8.7. Depends upon pH value of water, sodium hydroxide aqueous solution is dosed into CTU by a pump. Dosing is done automatically if selector is set at auto mode. Scrubbing water from CTU is transferred to water cooler unit, WCU by a pun. In this ship, plate type water cooler is used. Scrubbing water from CTU is cooled by sea water in WCU. Cooled scrubbing water from WCU goes to water treatment unit, WDU. Now, plant is in stop position. So, no flow rate indicates. Scrubbing water is purified in WDU by centrifugal force. Clean scrubbing water joins main line and is sprayed from scrubber water nozzles.
discharged from WDU is temporarily stored inside centrifuge residue tank. According level inside tank, pump automatically transfer residue to onboard removed residue tank. This tank is double bottom tank, system is frequently used in these days. In present, level inside tank is low and, low residue tank level alarm is activated on panel. Three level sensors mounted at tank. Low, high and high high level. Residue from removed residue tank is disposed to shore reception facility through discharge connection. Let's see drain water chamber. Condensate water and scrubbing water from main engine air cooler is temporarily collected inside drain water chamber. Scavenge air pressure is high while main engine is running. These water from chamber is pushed up to SCWR and scrubber by scavenging air pressure. Makeup water consumption is reduced because condensate water from air cooler is recycled. Okay guys. Let's see parts of system inside engine room, floor to floor. Exhaust gases from main engine enters into turbine side of turbocharger. After then, these exhaust gases leads to scrubber through automatic valve. If EGR system is not in use, this gas inlet valve closes and exhaust gases flow to funnel. If system is used, exhaust gases leads to scrubber tower. This line is returned from CTU after scrubbing water is cooled down in cooler. As you know, these condensate and scrubbing water comes from drain water chamber with pressure. On this ship, wet scrubber system is used. Scrubber is used to absorb and remove soot with oxides of sulfur and exhaust gas, by scrubbing water. Gas and liquid mixtures from scrubber enters into demister for separation. EGR blower is mounted over demister unit. EGR blower draws gas from demister and put into blower side of main engine turbocharger through gas outlet valve. Now, you will see scrubber and demister units. Scrubbing water from demister is sent to scrubbing water receiver unit. This line is scrubbing water recirculating line of SCWR. SCWR is small capacity receiver unit and installed near main engine. As explained before, level sensors are fitted on SCWR. Low level alarm is set at 120 mm. Setting values may vary depends upon maker and model of system. Scrubbing water from SCWR is transferred to collecting tank unit by transfer pun.
This line leads to CTU. This is recirculation line of SCWR. Transfer pump starts for the set timer and adjust liquid level of SCWR. Condensate and scrubbing water from air cooler goes to drain water chamber. DWC. Low level alarm is fitted at DWC. If EGR system is not in use, condensate water from DWC goes to bilge holding tank through air cooler drain filter. Condensate and scrubbing water from DWC goes up to SCWR and scrubber with pressure, while EGR system is operating. Residue from removed residue tank can be disposed to shore reception facilities, by using EGR residue transfer pump. During EGR system is using, sodium hydroxide pump starter should be set at auto mode. Level gauge is fitted at sodium hydroxide tank. Pump supplied sodium hydroxide to scrubbing water and, prevent from becoming acidic, due to sulfuric acid caused by sulfur in acid. This is circulation line for sodium hydroxide tang. This line is to dose sodium hydroxide solution to collecting tank unit CTU. Now, you see is collecting tank unit. Both of SCWR and CTU pumps are in auto mode. Pumps will stop when SCWR and CTU tank level reach low low level. Level sensor with gauge also fitted at CTU. Scrubbing water pump takes suction from CTU and transport to water cooler unit. WCU. pH meter is mounted at CTU and dose sodium hydroxide automatically, if requires. Scrubbing water pump transfer water from CTU to water cooler unit WCU. WCU consists heat exchanger and uses seawater for cooling scrubbing water. Cooled scrubbing water returns back to scrubber water nozzles to perform its function. Some cooled scrubbing water leads to water treatment unit through Coriolis density flow meter. The amount and density of scrubbing water sent to the EGR centrifuge are measured by Coriolis density meter. Both WDU and centrifuge are set at auto mode.
The EGR centrifuge separates solids and liquids by the centrifugal force, generated by rotating the bowl at high speed. Centrifuge discharge water tank collects discharge from EGR centrifuge. To prevent the accumulation of scum, spray nozzle line is installed. The discharged residue is transferred to the removed residue tank by the centrifuge residue transfer pump. Let's brief parts of system. As you know, this is EGR centrifuge and it is used to purify the scrubbing water. This is water cooler unit to cool down scrubbing water. This tank is collecting tank unit. Sense pH value of scrubbing water and dose sodium hydroxide. If scrubbing water is insufficient in system, top up fresh water from domestic system. This one is sodium hydroxide tank and store sodium hydroxide aqueous solution that is used to neutralize acidic scrubbing water. Exhaust gas from turbocharger comes to scrubber through automatic circulation valve. Demister separate gas and liquid. EGR gas is draw by EGR blower. This EGR gas is blown to turbocharger blower side. Hope you will satisfy and understand. Thanks for watching till the end. Please subscribe channel and turn notification bell to know update contents in time. Goodbye for now.